Hi, I'm Amy. I'm videographer for Ghost Alchemy, and I am really excited to show you a stamped beeswax technique I have. Um, I'll be using a thrifted frame that I found ultra cheap. I believe it was $2 um, at Goodwill, and I uh, have artist taped around the outside and I'm going to stamp around the inside before putting in my 4x6 photo. So I hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, kick back, grab your Cosmopolitan and join me and I hope you have a good time. Thanks. Okie doke, here we are. I have quickly decoupaged um, some vintage music onto this background. Underneath here is kind of a cool little quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I wanted to do something kind of neat on the middle. It's a pretty wood, but it was kind of boring. So I wanted to do something else. So quickly I am going to dry this and then we'll begin our beeswax. Um, actually, before I do that, missed a step obviously. I'm gonna spray it a little bit with the mist age it a little bit more and give it the look I'm wanting. So I'll be back in just a sec. Okie dokie, I am back here and I've done a little bit of playing around with this just a little bit. Um, I've melted just a like one layer of the wax on here and I'm gonna do some more so it's thick enough to take our stamping. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna heat this up and we're gonna watch it melt Hold it back far enough that it doesn't burn your paper. I've learned that already. You can see how it melted and how now I'm just going to wait for all of this to coagulate. And I'm going to start with something up in the corners because a lot of it likes to collect right there. And I already like the look that I'm getting. It's very um, vintage and just kind of, well, it's gauche. It's just gauche. I like it. So I am going to finish this up here, let it dry until it gets kind of that milky color on the top. And then we're going to stamp and I'll be back for that. Okay, um, my video camera is kind of making me irritated and I have some stills I'm gonna stick in here so that you can see some more detailed shots. But I'm gonna just show you really quick how easy this is to do. I have taken this um, the stamp, I like it because it's super deep and it's gonna give you the impression that you're wanting, at least that I'm wanting, um, along these edges and then I'm going to ink it. So um, actually what I'm gonna do is, what's great about beeswax is you can remelt it. Um, at any time. So if you mess up, it's not permanent. So I'm going to just reheat my BUF beeswax and see if I can kind of give you the general idea. I'll stick some stills in here too. Okay, I have reheated my beeswax and it's going to get, oh, it's already just perfect. It's got this kind of soft, milky look. You can touch it, but it's not gooey. So I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna press it into it just like that. And I'm gonna kind of use a little bit of pressure. As you can see here, I have taken a little bit of acrylic paint, wiped it over the top, just wiped it off a little bit, and it's left me with an impression in each corner. Okay, I have added some Go Shock Me washi tape to the edges as well, and I have inked around um, and I have that nice vintage look that I was looking for. I've... 
والنهار والنهار 